Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and April here. So you probably saw the previous video where we were butterflying the shrimp of the foot. So really getting the lateral and the medial borders of the foot to kind of separate and move away from one another. So the sole of the foot essentially yawns open as we go into heel strike. Now another very important element that goes along with that is the bone rhythm of the talus when we heel strike. So that bone rhythm of the talus is an um, internal rotation and a posterior glide. And for most of us, especially as we get older, we um, lose our ability to optimally dorsiflex. And we're more in plantar flexion with weight on the balls of the feet and the toes, where in actuality, most of our weight on our foot should be at our heel. But uh, because of, and this can be young people too, because of the you know, shoe wear, heels, et cetera, et cetera, but especially as we get older, we really lose that ability to optimally dorsiflex, and that can really impact our balance and um, can create accidents. So this is something that is really nice to focus with on your clients, and this is a, a way of passively finding that internal rotation in that posterior glide. So um, you're mobilizing the ankle and the foot. So when they get up, after you've done this, you might go on to a session in the studio and they'll do beautiful footwork on the reformer, but their strength work could be after this release just to go take a walk because it's, it's going to really talk to the musculature and the tissue around the foot, the ankle, and the lower leg to, to working in a better way. All right, so you saw this in the last video. So we have the smart spine wrapped around the foot. April's holding on to it, and um, so I'm placing one hand on the smart spine bottom of her foot, and then my other hand, thumb first finger, is wrapping around the front of her ankle. And so she'll take a deep inhale, and then on the exhale, I'm pressing into the smart spine, and I'm tractioning, I'm winding her skin, into that internal rotation and really thinking about that posterior glide of the talus. So it's on this side of the foot, the side of the foot that I'm on, but the angle is down towards the heel in this direction. So it's rotating and gliding at that angle. So she takes a deep inhale, I bring pressure, exhale, and we rotate. So I'm really encouraging that internal rotation and that posterior glide, and then we release. And this is all about that elastic rebound. And exhale. And so as we're walking, if someone has this natural ability, <laughs> as they heel strike and go to flat foot, um, for the talus to internally rotate and glide to the back, then they're going to be better able to propel themselves over the foot as they walk, right? And not kind of leave themselves behind, as you see some people do with their pelvises forward and kind of pulling themselves as they walk, but they're actually able to push as they walk, and that's what we want. We want to be able to push ourselves forward, not pull ourselves forward. And so if, if someone has this right action in their foot and their ankle, they're gonna be better able to do that. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.